let's get right away on my post migration tips. The most obvious one is don't forget that well, every time you run a migration, you're getting a migration report. So you need to look into that migration report and not just see all oh, success completed, uh, are there errors or warning? open that migration report here on your task screen you get all of your reports you can filter on you know your type of migration so if i will copy let's take this one it has a few things it's completed the operation completed for things have worked out things didn't and something had to be maybe modified or left out for the migration to happen you have your filters go on to your warnings and errors you need to be able to answer two questions first what was crucial and critical for me to migrate and what did i expect it to look like at the destination for instance i need to have my site a be 100 identical on the destination there is a possibility that things going to be flagged as a success in a migration report but doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get the same experience on the end this is mostly true and i'm really happy that that uh, michael brought up that question earlier with .espx pages. If your source pages worked with publishing infrastructure, you're probably going to get warnings saying that ShareGate cannot find the web parts required for those pages, so they're going to be ignored. The page is there, versions are good, metadata is good, the size of the file is identical. But if you didn't take a look at those warnings, you might not see exactly what's going on. Same thing with a file migration. The file is migrated, versions are good, metadata seems fine, everything seems okay, permissions are okay. But then if you take a look at the migration report, there was an issue with the content type association. We couldn't find the proper matching content type, we applied another one. The other thing I wanted to bring up for like a post-migration process is to actually make sure that your permissions carry it over properly. What I would suggest would be to run a permission matrix support on your source and permission matrix support on the destination site, just to make sure that everything is identical. This way you'll be able to compare one for one and it should match one for one. Actually, you remember speaking to a customer who told me that's exactly what she was doing, but she was sending a copy of the permissions matrix report to the site collection administrator and delegating that validation to this person saying, here's the here's what we had on your source before I did the migration. Here's what's showing up now. Is this good? Can we say yes, I'm all right with the, with the migration. And that's how she considered that, okay, she had the approval stamp from the person using the site and then she was moving on to the other ones. That's, so that's what's the validation. I know that some of you will look into item count as well in, into libraries. You could always build a custom report for documents or just a list report with number of items, run this against the source, the destination, make sure it matches. You should run a checked out documents report yeah. before your migration to do a bulk check-in so that, that nothing is missing. But that could be uh, other things things you'll want to do as a post-migration report to validate that you have all your permissions, you have all the same item counts or the document counts in libraries so that looks like everything is good to go.